I'm sure, you know, everybody know by now, man. Um, yesterday, uh, it was breaking news, man. The FBI released um an indictment on five members of OTF. Um, that was like big news. That was like the probably the biggest news since the O Block trial when that came out. Um, then you know, there was speculation about Lil Dirk being uh maybe he was detained or questioned come to find out Lil Durk uh news came out last night Lil Durk was arrested uh in Broward County Florida uh by the U.S. Marshals and he was held you know on a murder for hire charge um we had dropped that story yesterday um this morning more news comes out um apparently Lil Durk um since that this heat was coming and he had you know booked the trip for his family down in florida enjoy a little bit of a holiday after his big concert he just had in chicago um last week um and then they said so while he's down there with his family um he books three flights uh he books a private flight uh, he books a, a flight to Switzerland and he books a flight to Dubai. Um, the police, I guess, was watching him. You know, the news had already broke about the five O Block or not O Block with the five OTF members. Uh, news had already broke that the five OTF members was arrested and the police reportedly caught Dirk on his way to the third location to take a private flight to Italy. Um man bro like it's so much so much have come out in these last you know 18 to 24 hours man in all honesty i was a little surprised but i wasn't really surprised because in the back of my mind when all that shit went down i was like the last people the majority of the people gonna think did this because it happened in la is dark now because you remember everybody was trying to make it seem like it was some la shit for the most part but in my mind i you know, I just felt like, man, you know, this this probably got something to do with the bond situation, and and I'm in all reality, I don't blame Dirk. I mean, what 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 did you expect? What did you expect? So you saying you don't blame Dirk for 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 what happened? You know, it was a lot of people. So now that's let's dig into that because that's actually the first time I heard somebody say that. Um, the internet. When this when 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 this Dirk arrest was made public, when the mugshot was made public, um, there was a lot of people giving their opinion. It was people laughing about it. It was people saying, "Man, I told y'all this a year ago, and I told people that you know another Rico was coming, and you know that was something that we reported uh, originally during the FBG Duck trial, uh, the murder trial uh, for the O Block Six, because the FBI actually said it on the stand." That they had other investigations. So when, when if you paid attention to the FBG duck trial, they said it was more Rico's coming. Long story short, man, a lot of people celebrated. A lot of people said, I told you so to Dirk. A lot of people laughed at Dirk. Uh the, the dude Charleston White um got on live this morning and had a had a big, a big laugh about it. You know what I'm saying? So for you to for you to say that you don't fault Dirk and this is he like you feel like he a product of his environment that's I feel like that's something that people we haven't heard people say that you know what I'm saying so there was additional reports again all of this news just coming out in the last 24 hours there was additional reports that and we reported this in our last video uh when Dirk was arrested um a guy by the name of OTF Jam uh did about seven years in the feds I believe got out in the last few years and caught another case. And what they're saying is that the feds approached him when he caught that case uh, in the last couple years and they struck a deal for him to avoid jail time. Um, there were conflicting reports about the wire. You Did you hear about that shit? It was like they said he was wearing a wire. Some people said he wasn't wearing a wire. Um, yeah, so, you know, he recorded phone calls with Dirk and they saying that they have uh, uh, audio recordings of Dirk admitting to certain things after the death of Lil Pab, uh, when they attempted to, you know, kill uh, Quando Rondo. Um, man, like not being from Chicago, bro. Like, what, 
how do y'all see all this stuff? Because in Chicago, we see it one way, but like, how, how how are you guys seeing this stuff? Like, did you guys think Dirk was on this? Like, from the outside looking in? It's crazy you said that. It's crazy you said that, because as you were talking, I was thinking of one of my mans coming up who always used to say he thought Dirk was a bitch and all this other shit. And I used to tell him, I said, bro, these niggas from Chicago, if you think the, the one nigga that you think might be pussy ain't got a body on him, you crazy. Like, bro, this this is generational shit. This is how they survive out there. Like, in, in, in Chicago, I feel like in more than other cities, get back is 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 a must. In, in Chicago, nigga ain't finna just let you go all over the internet and mock somebody's death and think you finna get away with it. Whether we in Chicago or not, my mans used to say that shit, and I used to tell them all the time, like, bro, I said, bro, I think Dirk with it just as much as anybody else. I mean, and you it, know, it, most people look at it like he's stupid. I look at it like, bro, he did what he was supposed to do. He did what he was supposed to do. And for the sake of the streets and the code for the ones that live by it, this is how it's supposed to go. Regardless if he got caught or not, that comes with it too. He did what he was supposed to do. He made he let it be known, like, bro, I see myself in the feds. I know what's coming because I live this life. That's real, bro. That's real. Like if you sign up for it. Get back is part of signing up for this life, man, is that, you know, somebody might take your brother's life and now it's your job to get back. Um, So what about all this pushing peace stuff? So now let's get to the pushing peace stuff. Um, A lot of people are saying that Dirk was pushing peace because he knew the Rico was coming. He was trying to change his image. Some people said Dirk was just growing up. He was getting older. He was getting more mature. Why do you think Dirk, do you think that Dirk pushing peace and doing stuff with J-Man, do you think that was part of him thinking that Rico was coming? Or you think, you know, Dirk maybe just was growing up, getting older, getting more in tune, you know, uh, on his higher way of thinking? Uh, you know, me and you have this, con we've had this conversation plenty of times. And my first look on it was he was doing it for the right reasons. I still believe that, but I also have a different perspective at this moment. I feel like, Dirk had his demons fucking with him. So when you, regardless if you a natural born unalive or not, that shit's going to fuck with you at some point when you start taking lives and shit. So you, you talking about all the losses Dirk have taken. Like, I think a lot of people don't. Whatever else he may have allegedly done. So right. I, I think a lot like of people don't realize in this war or whatever you want to call it. The rapper Lil Dirk personally have taken a lot of losses from his cousin Nooski to his brother to his manager to to you can go as far back as L.A. Capone and and you know Rondo and C. Day doing basically life. Mm -hmm. A lot of the people that was close to Dirk from the beginning, he lost them, and maybe that type of feeling is what you're talking about. Where it's like. Like, I have to get back. I have to do certain shit because of what I've been through and what I lost don't make me feel sad about somebody else losing. You know what I'm saying? Um, I think I think another. So 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 the dude OTF jam, this dude OTF jam, uh, like I said, some people are speculating that he wore a wire for some years around OTF. Um. I thought it was crazy that um, he was interviewed when he at first got out of jail, I guess, like in 20, I think it's 2020, 2021. He was interviewed and he said Dirk was the realest nigga he ever met, took care of him while he was in jail, um, you know, gave him a crib, a car, gave him like 50,000 when he came home. Um, man, I, I, it, it, it make it just it give me that feeling of like. Some people I feel like deserve shit. You see what I'm saying? But then it's like it's other people that when they be taking care of their people, man, you be feeling bad when it be the exact person that you was basically you was his that man father, and he the person that kind of turned his back. You know what I'm saying? Like, like that shit. That shit's crazy to me. You know what I'm saying? Like I I, I think I think from what I heard, I don't think it should have been nobody that told on Dirk, and that's what it sound like kind of prompted the the feds to really you know go through with the case is that man they had an informant they have recordings you know they got the they got the footage of the of the, of the rental cars these dudes rented the cars with their credit cards and you know what i'm saying it was real sloppy man so like 
know what I'm saying? That's a, that's another thing too, man. It's like the the the, the overall hit, if you want to call it that, was very sloppy. Um, it was almost like something that you saw coming. And for a lot of people on the internet, like I said, when Dirk got arrested last night, that was the first thing I heard was, man, we seen it coming. And man, Wallow told Dirk, don't do it. And you know what I'm saying?